Executive. Joining us now is Montana's Attorney General, Austin Knudsen. Uh, thank you very much, AG, for joining us. You bet, Chris. Thanks for having me. Now, what we're hearing uh, from people in your position all over this country is the feds need a plan and they have to get involved because this is organized, it's assaultive, and it's overwhelming. Is that your experience? Yeah, it absolutely is. I mean, look, Chris, the, the bottom line is I don't have the authority to stop every vehicle that comes into the state. Uh, that's not a legal option I have. It's not even a logistical option that I have. We know where these drugs are coming from. We know where 100 percent of the fentanyl and 100 percent of the methamphetamine are coming from, and they're coming from the Mexican drug cartels. And until the federal government gets serious about enforcing that southern border uh, and, and, and its, its, its immigration policies, we're just going to keep seeing more and more of this. I agree uh, that the border and the porousness of it is absolutely an issue that they're taking advantage of. But aren't the cartels an and onto that? Like, you got to secure the border. And do you believe that the cartels should be treated like terror organizations that require a military response from America? Yeah, look, I, I, that's a great point. And I, sh I should have added that on. Look, I, absolutely. The, these, these cartels are responsible for all the illicit drug use in Montana uh, and other states. But look, our crime rate is absolutely skyrocketing, and we know why. It's because people are doing methamphetamine, it's because they're doing fentanyl, and it's because of these cartels and their activities here in the U.S. So yeah, I absolutely would advocate for uh, the cartels being designated as terrorist organizations. I think they are. I think they are absolutely undermining our country. They're poisoning our citizens. Uh, and they're absolutely flooding our streets. I mean, it's interesting when I talk to high-level DEA agents who've been on the job for decades, and they tell me this is the first time in their career they have seen a drug market in the U.S. completely saturated. That's a pretty scary statement, Chris, when you start talking about the amount of fentanyl that we're now seeing in our streets, on our highways in Montana, and in, in our communities. Uh, it's, it's staggering. We're showing video right now uh, of Columbus police. Uh, they call this a zombie tweak, uh, that fentanyl has an effect on people's um, autonomic system, where they literally convulse almost like uh, the zombies you see in these TV shows. So listen, AG, here's, here's our promise here. We're going to stay on this story. And as it uh, develops in your own experience, and people need to know things about what you're trying to get help with that you can't, what's working, what isn't, you've got an open channel of communication. I look forward to speaking to you again, and I wish you good luck. Oh, I appreciate that, Chris. Thanks a lot. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.